Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be doing another sort of advanced craft project. Um, I've done something similar to this before. If you remember before I went to the Pentagon concert, I did a video of how to make a DIY K-pop shirt and I used paint and a light box and a shirt and I made my shirt for Pentagon. Well, if you watched my ARMY decal video, you know that I got a Cricut for Christmas. So in this video, I'm gonna be using my Cricut to make some k-pop or in this case specifically bts related shirts also just a reminder that i am actually selling army bomb decals in my brand new etsy shop they are customizable they are only three dollars there is international shipping and shipping within the u.s is free so not only will your army bomb look amazing for this upcoming tour but you will also be helping support my channel so i will leave a link in the description for those listings so about the design of my first shirt if you were an emo kid like me or maybe you still are an emo kid you will recognize this design <laughs> and that's because it is based on the thrasher logo now everybody who was anybody in the emo kid community had a thrasher hoodie or wanted a thrasher hoodie so i don't know why this just like came into my mind in relation to fire by bts but i just thought it would be a cool design concept to make it look like a thrasher honey but it says fire and at the bottom it says voltonore so that's what i was going for you definitely need to be at least a little bit photoshop savvy to do a design like this um the next one that i'm gonna do might be a little bit easier for those of you who aren't quite as skilled in photoshop i personally have been using photoshop for like 10 plus years so i'm pretty comfortable in there which is why i do a lot of my designs in Photoshop first and then import them into Cricut Design Space instead of doing it directly into Cricut Design Space. Plus, you wouldn't have been able to do this type of design just in Cricut Design Space. How many more times can I say Cricut Design Space? So I turned the yellow part and the red part into two separate layers and saved them that way because they're gonna be cut separately because they are two different colors. So the yellow one is gonna lay on top of the solid red and that will give it the effect that it has like an outline around it or a stroke around it and then my second design as you can see is hope world if you haven't seen my hope world shoes video go check that one out i've been wanting to make a hope world shirt for a long time so i'm excited to finally do it and this design obviously was a lot easier and faster because it's already there i just imported the logo and just kind of edited it to work with Cricut Design Space. So once I imported them both as cuts in Cricut Design Space, I put them in a new project and I made them be the color that I'm going to cut them out. And that just makes it easier for me to attach certain parts because I'm also going to write Boltonore at the bottom. I had to find a font that would support angle and then I made it the same color as the yellow part of the fire. So I attached those two layers together because I will be cutting them at the same time since they are the same color. And then you have to mirror it if you're going to do iron on because that's how it will cut it. And this time I bought a different brand of this iron on vinyl and that is because the first attempt of doing this fire shirt did not quite turn out how i wanted it to um as you can see the yellow really bled into the red and the red kind of shrank up so that they didn't match together and apparently that's pretty common if you do like a big block of vinyl so i did some research and i realized that if you use strip flock for your bottom layer if you're going to use a big like piece it is less likely to shrink up because it's kind of like got that little bit of fuzzy texture to it so i decided to try that it's also a lot thicker so i ended up kind of having to tape it down to my cricut mat because the ends kept popping up but and i was kind of worried that it wasn't going to cut all the way through but i did the iron on plus option and it ended up cutting just fine i cut the project and i was able to pull it off perfectly 
And this just goes to show that like any craft or art project is not always going to turn out exactly the way that you want it to the very first time you try it and that's okay. It's important not to get discouraged. Sometimes you just need practice. Sometimes you need to do some research like I did. I'm still kind of a beginner with these materials. So it's important to remember that in any kind of artistic or creative thing that you're doing. So now I'm just pulling off all of the excess pieces around the fire part and I'm using just my hands and one of my Cricut tools to make sure I get it off precisely. And this is sped up, but I'm actually going very slow and taking my time because I don't want to accidentally rip the actual vinyl piece that I need. So then I go in and I do basically all the same steps, but with the yellow vinyl, which is just regular easy weed iron on. So I didn't have to use the iron on plus option and it was a lot easier to cut and pull off. <laughs> So I saved my fire design and then I opened up my Hope World design and I basically again did the same thing. I turned them into cuts and I made sure I had the correct colors. I put them on my mat, I mirrored them and then I pulled off the excess.
all right so once i had all of my designs cut out and ready to go i laid the first shirt out which is a black sweatshirt and that's what i'm going to be using for the fire design and i measured about where i wanted it to sit and i measured both sides to make sure it was centered and then i don't have a heat press so i just used a regular iron i turned it up to the highest setting i made sure it was not on steam although you will see it kind of steam a little bit and i think it's just because it was really hot but i put a pillowcase over top of the plastic just for extra protection and i pressed down on the entire design for about 10 seconds So once it was on the shirt, I pulled off the plastic and then I applied the yellow on top. I made sure that it was lined up and then I did the exact same thing. So then I moved on to my next shirt and this time because the design doesn't overlap, I could do them both at once. So I measured again and I put them down. I put the pillowcase over top of the plastic and I pressed again for 10 seconds, sometimes 15 if I felt like it was necessary. So these are how the final shirts turned out. I am very, very happy with them. I love how the fire one turned out this time. The Hope World one is simple, but I still really, really like it. And guess what? These are going to be for sale on my Etsy shop. So if you don't feel like making one or you don't have the means to make one, you can buy one from my Etsy shop and the link will be in the description. If you can't get one, that's okay. Just make sure to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time.